you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She never admit it, but the chief was warming up to spider cop. His casual disregard for by-the-book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. Alright, new recording session. It's a little early in the morning, but I wanted to play more Spider-Man. And I want to see, I want to go fight Shocker, because I think that's what's coming up next. Yeah. Ooh, just a fax. Get ready, folks. Because this is a bomb show. We have on the line a lady whose husband was kidnapped by Spider-Man. What? No, no, you've got it all wrong. My husband was kidnapped by criminals who shoved him into the trunk of a car. Spider-Man found him and got him out, then arrested the criminals when they came back. Pardon me, ma'am, I didn't hear that last part over my intern's utter incompetence. You realize, of course, that it's impossible Spider-Man arranged the kidnapping so he could save your husband and grab all the glory? Huh, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to when you could just stop actual crime. It's clear we are at an impasse. My best to you and your husband, madam. Jared, go to commercial, then fire yourself, then rehire yourself before the commercial ends. But no, your job hangs by a thread. If I paid you, I'd cut your salary in half. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's actually how we talked to Peter in the Spider-Man 2 movie with Tobey Maguire. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. I'm trying to find my, the bad things about Spider-Man. Ooh. Aww. All I did was save this kid's balloon from floating away, and he made me this. It's the little things that make it all worth it. Aww, that's real cute. It looks like that uh, picture from... Uh, or that picture that kid drew for... Um, Tony Stark in Iron Man 3. Alright, let's go say hi to Shocker. I want to progress the story because I need research tokens to get new suits. Oh. Hi, Herman. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Whoa, okay. Ooh, you've got an upgrade. I like it. You're never gonna catch me. That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you. You'll just slow me down. Wow, that's considerate. Yeah, you alright, Shock? Right? Oh, I remember this bridge. Oh, Spider-Man through the game. Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking. But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level. Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Yeah, come on, Chuck. We can work on, this out. We can just talk. If we just talk. So we can make it interesting. Hmm, not very. Oh, surprise! Gotcha. Now let's talk. Ow. Noted. <laughs> Jeez. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must be desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. You're also destroying a lot of the property. Oh, whoa. Move, move, move. Oh, Jesus. God, shocker. Also, do you know, it looks like you're wearing a mattress. It's always looked that way. I, I just, I think you could use a wardrobe cage, you know? Take this. Okay, can't. Throw it at him. Okay, now that hurt. That actually hurt. Get back here. You can't outrun the Spider-Man. Whoa! Whoa! Yikes, that was close. Oop, whoop. Get back here. I need to keep up. I'm keeping up, Spidey. Don't sass me. Come on, Shocky. They are... Woohoo! Nope. You know what, Herman? That's like zero personality. But your suit is awesome.
awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. I do like your suit, actually. You know, put a spider on it. Could be a cool spider suit. You could be my sidekick. Shocker and Spidey. What do you think of that? What do you think of it, Herman? Ugh. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow. That might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> Does anything I say, like, hold Looks up like in a court of law? Time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> Hey, MJ. You're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. What do I owe you? How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Yeah. I'm actually on my way to the Feast Center now to ask Martin Lee about it. Martin Lee? Why? He has a degree in dark history. If anyone knows about the origins of that mask, he will. Just keep me in the loop. Like He's I said, also I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Uh, sure. So I can call you, like, whenever? Yeah, whenever, whatever. Cool. So I guess we're talking again. Cool. <laughs> cool. <gasps> Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, I can't upgrade it. Okay. Skills. Oh, I can get new skills. Um, I'm level eight. Oh yeah, I got this new suit, the Secret War suit. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this. Well, this was obviously during. This not. It was a. It was not the Secret Secret War, like the one where they would go to Battle World and fight. I believe this one's from. Uh, when, I think it's when, it's right before Civil War, Nick Fury gets a group of superheroes together that owes him a favor, and they go and assault Latveria, which I, I think it's Latveria, that's um, Doctor Doom's, uh, his own personal country where he rules as kind of a dictator, and they um, invade it because I'm pretty sure Nick Fury uh, has found proof that the Tinkerer works there, and he's been giving out, um, whatchamacallit, uh, what, or, uh, um, Armor to well, armor and weapons to all the super villains. So, but the president wouldn't let him uh, assault it. So Nick Fury's like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna assault it anyway." And then that leads to a bunch of legal problems, and of course leads to civil war because the heroes stop, uh, or the people stop believing in the heroes because then uh, Doctor Doom's like uh, right hand comes to America and shoots up the place, and then the, everyone's like, "Oh, they, it's this is all because something you know." Nick, the heroes did illegally, even though it was kind of Nick Fury's fault. And then, like, Nick Fury, like, has to go... Is, like, loses control of S.H.I.E.L.D. And then he goes into hiding. Nick, Nick Fury is a weird... Nick Fury is a weird guy. Anyway, that's my little thing. That could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's right. I'll put it on the screen if I'm wrong. If I remember to fact-check myself. But feel free to tell me if I'm wrong. I would love to know more. Like I said before, I'm not very... I'm, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, but I don't know... A whole lot about Spider-Man. Or I mean, I don't. I'm not as hardcore of a fan as some people are. Like I, I don't. I don't read a lot of the comics, but I do. I do try to keep up with the gist of, of what's happening. I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald Mac Gargan, A.K.A. the Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed. I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. <laughs> That's actually true. In the comics, um, J. Jonah Jameson actually bankrolls uh, 
Yeah, he bankrolls the whole um, scientific thing to get Mac Gargan uh, to be the scorpion. Little Tokyo? Oh, my favorite. My people need me. Hold on, Martin Lee. Hey, you're hitting people? Ooh, shooting hoops, huh? Let me play. Oh, ah, okay. Whoa. Boink. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Not a big guy. I hate big guys. Whoa. -ho. Whoa, okay, okay. Y'all need to stop with the guns. It's annoying. Oh, cool, I wiped him up. I didn't know that worked. Oh, oh. Nice. And uh, stay down. Wait, that was it, right? Oh no, there's one more. <laughs> I realize the irony in me saying this. I hope you've learned not to hit me. Okay, back to your regularly scheduled program. Let's go see Martin Lee. My favorite guy. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. That God, I've been up all night. <laughs> do I do I like um coming here to get free food? Since I'm low on rent? I feel like no, Peter wouldn't do that. Okay, I guess he does. You know, I guess it's fine. I guess his aunt works there. And he works there sometimes, so I guess it's fine. <laughs> it's just sitting there eating. God, I've been up all night. How does he do it? How does he do it, Bob? Mr. Lee's usually... He's in his office, huh? Let's go see. Hey, how's it going? You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked. And she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Spidey sense. There we go. Cool. Spidey sense works as a way tracker. Or as a waypoint. Ooh, that's very nice. Mr. Lee. Are you being all Mr. Negative? Peter. I do for you. I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. She wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. <laughs> you see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Boy, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. It scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hmm. She's trying to steer us up the trail. Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. I well, never used to that went about as well as I could have hoped. This one, I have never had a problem. There's always someone looking out for us. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. Oh, that's good. Uh, I wonder if this is post, um... Oh, well, he's a veteran, so that must it must be when he's still in a wheelchair. Uh, poor Eddie. I, yeah, I guess he's not Venom yet. He's still trying to, um, you know, do his thing. 
Huh, actually, this will actually be interesting. Uh, it looks like they're using most of the comic book lore. Insomniac did its did their research, so it, I'd be inter I actually don't know really that much about um, Mr. Negative. It'd be cool to see. Ooh okay, how do I get research token? I would like that secret war costume. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. All right. Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, man. I'll tell him he said so. Love you, Peter. Master! Here's your stuff. Uh, let me do. Sorry, I, 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 I'm stopping criminals, but I can't tell you that. Then you just not let me do this. Whoop, see ya. Oh. Hey. You stop that. Okay, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Don't drop it, don't drop it. Yeah. Whew. Did it. More crooks? This Whoa. one's going viral. Hey, stop it. Oh, are you already down? Come on, man. You're a lightweight. Oh, God. Okay, thank God I can stop uh, mid throw. Oh. oh, I'm getting better at the combat. Oh, wow, you're already down. I hope um, these thug crimes don't like just like stop. Like I, there's just a set amount of crimes I can do. I hope it just keeps going like a random event. Hello, Peter. It's Doctor Octavius. Oh hey, what's up? Last Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, I didn't forget. Forget. I just I, I'll be there soon. His tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. That's <sighs> right. I lose track of time. I only did one, like, thing. Like, why, Peter, why did you say we we had time? We did clearly did not have time. That that whole, like, car chase took, like, a minute. Ah. <sighs> All right, all right, all right. Hey, no fast B and E. Gotta love the classics. Look, look, look. I got. I don't have a lot of time here, so I'm gonna have to take you all out real fast, like. I don't know. Is is is, is my lateness gonna be like? Gonna be what causes Doc Ock to be a super villain? Cause I'm gonna be really upset. But that is a classic Spider-Man story. Okay. Oh no, you're right. Pro tip. If you're not you're good. good at breaking or entering, maybe don't pull a B and E. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, don't worry. Come on. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, 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 I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I am here. Okay, we're good. We're, we're not, we're not good. We're still late, but I'm trying my best, all right? I'm here. I, I went through the roof. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? The site's been declared a safety hazard. What? Stop that right now. This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. 
Peter Parker. How the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. You should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talk about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> hmm. Easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Ah, that sucks. Ah, uh, no, I mean, you always were a real big dick bag with a weird thing for dressing up super villains as Avengers. In the comics, he, uh, when he was in charge of Hammer, uh, which replaced S.H.I.E.L.D. as, like, the security for the country, uh, he had his own Dark Avengers that were just villains dressed up as other Avengers. Do so something, do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. We should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Okay, I, I, want, I want to see what's new. Crap, I... Dang it, Spidey, I thought you stopped talking. I've actually never come back here when I wasn't supposed to. It's not marked on the map. He's gone. Is Doc gone? You all right? You all right, big guy? We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. Okay, so I just play these mini games and I get um, research tokens. I think. Aha! Um, uh -huh. 